Hi, my name is Chris, and I'm here to teach you the next tutorial on Ape Academy, which is all about the 4626 tokenized vaults. The purpose of an ERC4626 is to standardize the implementation of a standard API for tokenized vaults. This uses the ERC20 token as the underlying assets to represent the shares of a vault. And that's essentially what this is right here. And so what I'm reading right now is the EIP proposal, and it's a finalized proposal to talk about the 4626. And this affects all of the tokenized vaults, including examples, including lending market aggregators, intrinsically interest bearing tokens. So if you don't know what I just talked about, the first part we're going to do is to understand what an ERC 4626 is, how the 20 token plays a role into this, and why it's important to have a standardization. And then the second part, which is going to be another video, is talking about the specification and all of its methods and how it's implemented. Okay, without further other ado, let's get into it. So in combination of the 20 token and the 4626, these are the building blocks to build a lending market. A lending market is a way for people to buy, sell, and loan assets to other people. This standardization unifies yield-bearing vault and a way for to standardize their APIs to intrinsically use their vault um, in a way that is readable and a way that is easy to use. For example, because there are so many diverse implementations, for example, yield aggregators like Yearn, lending markets like Aave and Compound, and staking derivatives like Lido and Rocket Pool, there are just so many of these protocols that we need to a way to understand how they use our money and a way for us to put it all together. So a standard for tokenized vaults lower the risk of integration effort yield bearing for yield bearing vaults while creating consistent and robust implementation patterns. So what this means is standardization helps mitigate errors with battle tested code and considers their UX for around their use cases for people to understand and use. And the technical standpoint of this would be the standard defines a way to deposit assets in and in return get shared tokens that represents the amount you deposit. While these assets are deposited, you can earn more underlying tokens due to yield strategies that accrue interest on a pool of assets staked. These shares can be then re redeemed for original assets plus any yield it has earned. These vault contracts these vaults are contracts. Their purpose is to accrue yield as you lock in your tokens inside. And that is the incentive to using a vault to store your tokens in. Okay. And so that is essentially what the 4626 is and the standardization of it all and how the ERC20 token helps. Okay. And so the next part would be running into the code. Thank you.